Hey guys and welcome to my finish 30 by the 31st challenge update. My first update. Um, this challenge is where I've picked 30 products to finish by the 31st of December and I have some progress. Not a whole lot but one major piece of progress. I finished the blush. Oh yes. Nude Mauve by Max Factor. I finished it. I finished it. I finished it. I finished it. Finally finished it. Mm -hmm. Super excited about that one. Super, super excited. So I'm going to get right in and just tell you what I have and haven't used. Because a lot of it I haven't. Because I'm still working on stuff in other projects. So there probably won't be a whole lot of progress until the next update. So you'll just have to kind of bear with me. And I'll just quickly run through everything. First of all, Prep and Prime have not used. Lasting Finish have not used. Um, the cream, whipped cream from Max Factor, I've used a couple of times. I am wearing it on my face at the moment, mixed with a few other things. Um, but once I finish the foundations in my Seven Flings of Summer, this is the one I'm going to be focusing on. As far as illuminators go, I have not used this one. I have not used this one. But I have used this one a fair amount and you can actually kind of see an air bubble starting to form. Um, once I finish the Sunbeam one in my Seven Flings of Summer, I'm going to focus on this one before going on to the Pinkaboo. And uh, yeah, because I kind of just want to get this one used now out of the way because there's not a whole lot left in here, judging by what I can see in this little air bubble. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, I have used this a couple of times. My concealer and my other challenge is almost almost done so I will be focusing on this one next so there will be some huge progress for next update. The Guerlain Powder. Um, again I'm still focusing on a powder in another project um, but when I do have time to use this one separately under my eyes I do so there's not a whole load of progress but I'll give you a quick peeky poos. And not that you can even really tell. I haven't marked it or anything. I find powders, like loose powders, pardon me, really hard to keep track of. So, um, yeah. Once the press powder, my other challenge is done, I will start focusing on this one more. The highlight in... The Vivid Baked Highlight in Golden Lights. Yeah. Uh... There is a quick look at that one. Um, I have been putting a lot of focus into this. Most of the ridges are pretty much worn away on this side, as you can see. It's getting really, really flat now. I think maybe by next update I might have all of this flat. This side flat, and then maybe start working on this side but we'll see we'll see and that's it for the face products for the eye products I haven't touched the brows the brow products I've used I've chosen the Rimmel brow pencil and the brow this way brow mascara haven't touched them yet um, the fuller fudge chubby stick I have used a little bit but not a lot um, as you can see this is it rolled all the way down and it's still peeking out the top a little bit there on and on bronze I haven't used either same with the kiss the day eyeshadow because I'm still working on the I have a headache one from the 5 by no the 15 by Halloween. As you can see there is a... there's not a lot to go in this one but it kind of reminds me how much is actually in these when you start. So yeah. The three NYX shadows. Pine Nut I have been using quite a lot. Um, I haven't made a whole lot of progress because I haven't really been focusing on any one particular area but there is like an even gradual progress going on in this guy. Suede, 
I've, I think I've made a lot of progress on this one, especially in this corners where I've been focusing my brush. It's getting a really nice dip going on in there. I don't even know how to even show you it, but trust me, trust me, there is a nice big dip going on in that corner. And then we have True Taupe, which I have started making a dip in the middle there. I've actually been really enjoying this one. It's a really very sheer wash of colour and it's really buildable um, so it's perfect for giving definition to my crease and transition area. I freaking adore it. So there will definitely be a lot of progress in this by the next update. And lastly, oh no, not lastly, but lastly for eyeshadow is Mountains of Gold from Revolution. I have been using this it is a lot of eyeshadow. I don't think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year, um, but if I hit pan on it, I will be super freaking happy. Lastly for eye products is the Lancome Eyeliner in Brune, which I haven't touched yet. Um, I probably won't use this until I finish the 15 by Halloween challenge, so yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Now on to the lips, um, the gloss sticks, I have used a little bit, particularly Pinkaboo, I have just been kind of throwing this on as like a lip balm every now and again, I haven't made a whole lot of progress on it, same with uh, Purple Rain, sometimes if I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup I will put this on just for a little bit of colour on my lips, um, and I haven't used Pink Punch because I'm working on um, other pink products like this in other projects. The Rimmel lipstick in number 45, this is the first time I've worn it since the beginning of this challenge, so there's pretty much absolutely no progress on here until I finish the 5 by Fall challenge, which is a lipstick based challenge. I probably won't be looking at this anytime soon. Lip glosses, again, I haven't touched these. This is the first time I've worn Tuscany since the start of the challenge. Um, just because the product, the lipsticks in those cha that challenge are glossy anyway, they don't need lipstick on top of them, so yeah. Obsession lip pencil, why is this still here? Why? There is even more slightly less than before. I, I swear to you this will be gone by the next update. I swear to you. I'm full of determination to be rid of it by the start of September. We have Romantic Soul, the Intense Lip Shine Crayon. I have used this a couple of times but I haven't used it enough to sharpen it again so there's no real progress going on there either. The natural lip pencil is still where it was, pretty new, untouched. And then we have the nearly nude matte lip pencil, which I have actually been using again. I don't have the piece of paper that has this marked on it, but I think it's maybe moved like a couple of millimetres. I've used this pretty much every day this last week. I found a, an amazing base combination with this and another lip liner that I'm just adoring, so I can't see any problems with getting this used up, and in fact it might even be finished by next update, if not the update after. So that's my update for the finished 30 by the 31st. I know it's not a whole lot of progress, but I do have till the end of the year to finish these things, so I'm not in a major rush, although I do think there will be a lot more progress by the next update, which will be around the mid, start to mid September. And um, yeah, if you guys are taking part in this challenge, let me know how you're getting on, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and bye bye.